The U of Chu by Gerald Roberts, MD. So I met Dr. Roberts at the ALA because he was one of the few people who came to my talk um, about uh, sustainability and picture books. And we were just chatting because he told me he had written a book and um, or more and was, you know, kind of just trying to figure out how to get his book out there. Um, and he's a doctor. And I think his um, motivation, I think, was to teach kids, um, especially, I think, in his community, um, like, I think, health, how to make healthy food choices. And so let's see the back. Professor Cornicus was diagnosed with heart disease linked to being overweight. And although he is no longer overweight, his heart still suffers the long-term effects. So he started the University of Chu to help children uh, learn the importance of staying active and eating healthy. Um, and so he's just hoping, you know, that's a big issue too. Childhood obesity is not limited to, you know, populations of color. It is just literally an, you know, um, an epidemic. Um, and like, you know, they do things like within the schools, like with school lunches, um, you know, like you see trends where they're like, um, you know, there's no more whole milk it's, or no more chocolate milk. It's just, you know, low fat milk or, or, you know, or something even with less fat and also trying to make the school lunches, um, healthier, like without processed foods. And I think those are all, all, those are all good, um, steps in the right direction. But a lot of this is also because, um, a lot of communities, inner city communities have food deserts. And so there's not fresh food available, like, like nearby or, um, at all, and, or it's like, you know, prohibitively priced. And so, you know, I, I think there's lots and lots of ideas and solutions. Um, and I also like the idea of teaching kids to grow food, like whether it's at a school or community garden, because not only does that help with the food desert, but it also when kids grow f vegetables and fruit, like they are more, you know, inclined to then want to eat it and discover how delicious it is. And especially if there's, there's not access to it, you know, because um, my pediatrician said like you had to, kids had to try a new food 25 times before they would accept it. So, you know what I mean? Like, like not only do you have to buy it, you know, 20 ish times, but you also have to you know, introduce it over and over and over again over a period of time. And it looks like the U of Chew is created as a coloring book, which is also kind of fun. This makes it interactive. Um, and so I guess this sort of links um, sort of uh, kids um, and uh, health challenges that they have. We have COVID, we have heart disease, we have high blood pressure and um, sort of ideas for how to, you know, I guess how to combat that. So I thought, you know, I think this is, I mean, I, I think these kinds of, like these um, books that give information, I think is, is really great and important, but the fact that you can draw on it, I think it makes it fun it's like great too for entertainment. It's great for summer learning. This is like the kind of book you can bring to a restaurant, for example, and the kids are waiting for their food. Um, not only is this book entertaining because all you have to bring is like some crayons, but then it might influence the types of food that they order. Because my, my issue with like the kitty meal is that, you know, like, like not a lot of fruit and vegetables, you know, in that kitty meal typically. You know, it's just sort of like a lot of fried foods or um, you know, it's not like a balanced meal, um, you know, and, you know, if kids are used to eating, also my other gripe is when kids are used to eating the kitty meal, like when do they actually outgrow it? Because then they're not actually exposed to other kinds of flavors or, you know, like, um, ingredients or types of food. And, you know, if you don't ever graduate from the kitty meal, you know, that's not the healthiest diet. Um, so anyway, thank you to Dr. Gerald Roberts for creating this book and for sending it to me. And thank you for watching.